I just took one of the most challenging chemistry labs I've ever taken in my entire life, which sounds a little bit crazy to say because this lab that I just took was supposed to be the first lab in a freshman level chemistry course. I took chemistry in high school. Now, granted, I took it during COVID, so uh, it was all online, so I didn't really do any chemistry, um, but I had a basic understanding of chemistry. And also, I am a sophomore, and I'm taking a freshman level chemistry class, and I've taken classes that, uh, I've taken classes so far in college that require me to know concepts from chemistry. So I've had to kind of learn them on my own in order to take these other classes just because my schedule got messed up. But um, I went into this lab thinking it wasn't going to be that bad. And as I was doing it, it didn't even seem that bad. Um, and, and for context, one of the things I'm trying to work on this term in particular is I want to work on teamwork. I want to be a better team member because I feel like every time I do a lab project for whatever class, not just chemistry, um, I always end up doing not enough work or way too much work. You know, it doesn't get split up very evenly and it's, it's like hard to work with the lab mates and stuff. And I want to work on that this term. And so, uh, going into this lab, that was kind of my focus was to, um, not only do the lab well and try and get the right answer, but also to work well with the lab mates. And I made a video after the last lab, it's two, two labs that we've had to work on this one assignment basically. And it's four hours total. And I made a video after the last lab saying that things were going pretty well and that we are making good progress. Well, uh, we finished up the lab today and we had like 30 minutes left of class. And um, the lab that we were doing was we were supposed to be finding the densities of certain plastics that they were like, they gave us a bunch of random plastics and they're like, hey, find the density of all these plastics and then look at this table of plastic densities to identify what the name of each plastic is, right? Simple enough. And so we are calculating all these densities, you know, and we're finding all of them. And right before the lab ends, we go up to the professor and we're like, hey, just before we write up our final lab report, we wanted to just check and make sure that the densities that we got were the right ones. And we go up to the lab professor and they say, yeah, you get one out of five. So we, we did five experiments and one of them was right. And we had spent three and a half hours so far doing all these other experiments and we only got one right. And so we're all kind of panicking now because we have 30 minutes to kind of figure out what on earth we did wrong. Uh, and we don't have enough time to redo all the experiments. And it's an absolute nightmare. Um, good news is um, some of them, uh, well, so we had four questions that we need to figure out, right? And there's three of us. So we couldn't do all of them at once, but we each divided up the work and tried to figure out what was wrong with three of them. So there was one that we didn't end up getting to. Um, but I took one and I uh, realized that the measurements that we took for something uh, for the volume were in inches and they were supposed to be in centimeters. And so converted them to centimeters, then then redid the calculations and we got an answer that made a little bit more sense. Right. Uh, it was closer to what the professor said should have been the answer, which is good enough. Right. Um, the other two partners, I don't know what they did, but they got their uh, calculations to look like what the professor should have had um, or said that we should have. So, so that's good. The only thing that we couldn't do was the final piece of uh, plastic that we had unidentified. And we were talking to the professor, like literally as the lab is closing and we're like, Hey, is it like, like, what are we supposed to do for this one? Uh, we don't like have the right answer. Uh, do you want us to just like write down what we have? And the professor explained to us, they're like, Hey, listen, uh, for these labs, you don't need the right answers all the time but you need to be able to explain why you got the wrong answer. And so that's good to hear having an answer that we don't, that, that we know is wrong. Um, and so we just needed to figure out now in the last couple minutes of class, what we had done wrong that could have changed our answer to make more sense. Um, and so what we did was uh, when we were trying to find how much, uh, how dense this piece of plastic was, we tried to put it in a, uh, a plastic little cup or a glass cup, they call it a beaker, um, full of like water and see if it floated uh, to see if it was more dense or less dense than water, right? Um, and we thought that it was more dense than water because it sank in the water. But uh, what the professor said was it wasn't supposed to sink, but the container that you were using was too small. And so the, uh, the piece of plastic you had was rubbing up against the sides of the container and making it like stay underneath the water level, which I guess makes sense. And um, that's 
a good enough answer, what our professor said is that's a good enough answer to write on your lab report and you'll get most of the points for that even though the answer is wrong. And so um, we, uh, my lab group and I were like talking about it and we're like, yeah, this is like honestly the best option we have because we don't have enough time to redo the experiment. We don't have a big enough uh, cup for it anyways. So we didn't know what to do. And we we're just like, all right, we're gonna write this up in our lab report and we'll, uh, we'll split up the, the work pretty, pretty evenly, hopefully. Um, and that lab is due on Friday. And so um, I'm gonna be doing some work on that over the rest of the week. And hopefully um, all will all will end up well. I'll give you guys an update when we get that that grade back. But um, I'll have another lab starting on Friday when this um, this current lab is due. So a lot of a lot of chemistry in my future, um, and and hopefully less mistakes as we uh, iron things out as the group. But um, all in all, uh, for the goal of of passing the lab, uh, I think we're gonna do hopefully all right since the professor like gave us a a way to get credit on it, even with the wrong answer. And um, as far as working on teamwork goes, uh, I think the teamwork, at least so far, has been all right. We've been splitting up the work in the lab, and as long as we end up splitting up the work on the write-up part, it should be pretty good. So I'll keep you guys updated on how that's, how the, how that's going. Um, I'll try and do only the amount that I should have to do, and not more than that, and not less than that, and um, hopefully my lab mates will do their part of the bargain as well and uh and yeah um so that that's it for me today a little bit of a, a crazy lab story but uh, i hope everyone else is having a good day thank you all so much for watching my name is tate harris this has been the daily report and i will see you tomorrow